just uh, G12, J11. Yeah, this is a very sandy farm, so that's one reason we tried the J11 on it. I know that is isn't an ideal place to put our teaching corn, but we need to utilize the water as much as possible. What has your experience been with this hybrid? I've been very, very pleased with it. I've seen it uh, for like the last three years. Right up there with the other hybrids, even if it, there is not a moisture issue. You know, I mean, that's what I like about it. What kind of yields are you seeing with it? 213 bushel average right now. What diseases do you typically have, and how would you describe the disease control you've experienced with cultic cell fungicide? Northern leaf blight is usually one of the biggest issues that we have here in Central Iowa. Um, common rust, southern, and we got a little, I mean, everything, you can find a little bit of everything in there. Um, like I said, we've been very successful. We've had some wind issues in the last two or three years, so we've had some down corn, so a lot of, a lot of guys went ahead and sprayed the fungicide to keep the plants healthy, even though it's already been damaged which from early June. A lot of good luck with it. Well, next so. In addition to the, the greener plants, what are some of the other physiological benefits you've experienced? As long as you keep the uh, plant healthy, that means it's still feeding the ear, which all what we all want is to determine the yield. Uh, as soon as the plant shuts down, obviously the ear shuts down as far as any possible grain fill. So the whole key is to keep your plant healthy and alive and growing. What about stock strength? Absolutely, the stock strength is very important. Again, like I said, we're here at the end of October. Uh, for the most part, this corn is standing tremendously, and uh, usually by now you're losing all kinds of stock integrity. And with the winds, 30, 40 mile an hour winds that we can get, typically get, uh, can be a big issue with corn starting to go down. We talked about how there was almost too much moisture this year. Um, would you say that public cell fungicide helped your plant um, get through some of the weather conditions this year? Well, as, as we get the wet conditions and, and the hot conditions, that's just a breeding ground for all these diseases. Um, so obviously anytime you can do a curative and a preventative spray on these diseases, it's, it's quite helpful to keep these plants uh, healthy. 